Originating in Sweden, like everything good, <laughs> rabbit agility or rabbit hopping is modeled after horse jumping, but scaled to the size of a rabbit. It started in the 1500s, but wasn't brought to America until the early 2000s, and is yet to be as popular here as it is in Sweden and, of course, Canada. The setup consists of jumps, tunnels, ramps, and other obstacles the rabbit has to navigate over or through. Mats are used to guide the rabbits since, hint, they don't like slippery floors, like, at all. And gates are a good idea, too, especially in Lincoln Square Mall. <laughs> Back to the early 2000s, and i just gotten my first rabbit, Ginger, a really big French lop. Meanwhile, Oregon was having the first U.S. rabbit agility event. It hadn't come to the Midwest yet, so Ginger never got the chance to participate. And looking back, I wish I had seen her potential more. 20 years later, I find myself really wanting a dog, but got stuck with this weirdo instead. This is Pip, and he's my most favorite thing in the world. Shortly after adopting him from the Humane Society, I realized how smart and social rabbits can be when given the chance. Turns out, it's not that hard to train rabbits. It wasn't long before he responded to his name, knew a few tricks, and freaking flips out whenever I say treats. Finally realizing rabbits want to learn and play, mixed with a serious need to get off the couch and find a hobby, I had my idea for a rabbit agility club. Enter 4-H, a wonderful program that provides opportunities for local kids, and I recommend looking into it for things not just rabbit related, but for all interests. The best part is, if you've got an idea for something that doesn't exist yet, say rabbit agility, they can help make that happen in your community. I told 4-H about my idea for this club as a way to encourage others to adopt rabbits, and it also happens to be a great photo op, and they were so into it. Shortly after, the 4-H Hop Stars was created with the mission to promote rabbits as a pet that needs more than just a cage with food and water, but deserves to be a full member of the family. With the jump start from 4-H, it didn't take much else to get going. I found old bookshelves, which the kids painted, that were great for jumps. We had a cat tunnel from Walmart, a favorite, and even an official made-for-rabbit agility ramp from the only rabbit hopping equipment company in the world. <laughs> Somehow, all those old bookshelves, mats, crates, ramps, and tunnels all fit in my Hyundai Sonata, and I lug it to and from Parkland College and various events around town for practices. I have an unreasonable anxiety about anyone ever asking me to open my trunk and having to explain this mess, but it's all worth it for these guys. Fondly known as the 4-H Hop Stars, of which I'm the volunteer leader, we had our first ever practice out at Parkland in June of 2015 and have been growing as a club and community event ever since. Since then, we've had three annual shows at the Champaign County Fair, the Urbana Free Library, one of our early adopters, agreed to have a show in 2015 and have excitedly invited us back every year since, despite all the poop and fur that ends up there. From the rabbits, of course. In a few short weeks, we'll make our Champagne Public Library debut at Family Fun Night on April 12th. We've even had an event at Prairie Gardens, and our most recent appearance was at Urbana First Fridays in September. One of my favorite ways we've worked with the community is when we've had the chance to invite the Humane Society to bring some adoptable bunnies to our events. Like this guy here. I still think about how as soon as he was brought in, an excited woman came up to ask if this was Pepero. She'd been eyeing him on the Humane Society website for a while and recognized him immediately. I'm not sure if they ended up going home together, but it's a great reminder of the real goals of our little club, to give rabbits a loving home. Most of the athletes were adopted locally and later in life, and all have managed to learn new tricks. While it was clear from the beginning we weren't going to head over to Sweden to partake in the world championships anytime soon, it was clear we were going to meet a more important milestone. Often, Rabbits unknowingly become secondary pets simply because we don't realize how smart and social they are. At Rabbit Agility, we've seen their extraordinarily individual personalities come through, and so they have some thoughts to share. Like, always take a moment to chill on top of an ice pack on a hot summer day. 
Sometimes you've got to be creative when overcoming obstacles and forge your own path. And when enough is enough of being told to jump over a bookshelf over and over again, don't be afraid to let everyone know how you're really feeling. Also, always do so while rocking a killer hairdo. You should always welcome new friends into your home and always be willing to try new things. Who knew chickens could also be such talent at agility? And, not surprisingly, wings are an advantage when it comes to getting over jumps. We're thinking of giving hamsters a try next, so stay tuned for that. And don't be shy. Even if you're quiet, you can still have a big personality that comes through and allows you to influence even the cockiest of acquaintances. Turns out, wings are also an advantage for escaping a curious rabbit. But I think Clover the Bunny still won this round. Taking it slow, as Philbert here would tell us, so you don't trip over your ears, can sometimes be the best and most efficient way to those tasty treats. But most importantly, as long as you're having fun, getting exercise, and learning new things at Rabbit Agility, every bunny is a winner. Please like the 4-H Hop Stars on Facebook to see more photos and stay up to date with our local events. And please consider stopping by the Humane Society to meet some rabbits if, after seeing this, you're thinking that a bunny might be a good fit for you. Thank you.